I didn't see you there. You know, love is in the air is a special event. It's filled with intimacy. Intimacy. Romance. Romance. And passion. Passion. And the world of Warcraft is littered with quests that have the same sense of energy. So join me as we count down five of the most romantic quests in WoW. We'll start our list off slow and steady. Tuga's quest is an escort quest that is located in Tenaris. It started by talking to Tuga the turtle, who somehow knows how to speak English. I'm so lost. My wife, Torta, she sent me out to fetch dinner. I must have taken the wrong turn somewhere. Would you be so kind as to lead me back to Torta? She's waiting for me just south of Steamweedle Port. Uh, what was in that mana potion? I'm not a figment of your imagination, just please, help me. And so, the adventure begins to travel across Tenaris to reunite the two half-shelled lovers. This is one of the few escorts where the NPC follows you instead of you following them. Are we there yet? <sighs> no. The only problem is, well, Tuka's really, really slow. And also, Tenaris is a contested zone, so you could be slowly walking across the whole desert and then get ganked right at the end. But, if you're lucky, Tuga will be reunited with his wife, Torta. Torta, my love, I've returned long at last. Do you have any idea how long I've been waiting here? And where's dinner? All the time gone and nothing to show for it. Enough of this rambling, I'm starving. Now go get that dusty Please stuff take me into back. the ocean and bring Mama some grub. Day Deathwing Came is a three-part quest chain where a group of adventurers in the Badlands regale us with tales about what really happened when the dragon arrived and demolished Azeroth. So for example, Thelgen the Lost says that he fought his way through the canyon fighting elementals, and he punched Deathwing in the face. <laughs> Lucent Tosselwrench says that he shrunk the whole world and grabbed Deathwing from the sun and threw him all the way over to Kalimdor. But Martek, Martek is the one with the best and most romantic story. Day Deathwing came, blood rained from the skies. I believed I was showing off my motorcycle to some hot babes at the time. After Deathwing appeared, they became quite frightened, but I only had room to rescue one of them. Hmm. Obviously, I picked the Night Elf. Goodbye, Martek. I'm just happy to have known you while I lived, Martek. I'll never forget that magical summer we shared, Martek. We rode off down the canyon, careful to avoid falling rocks. When I reached the end of the canyon, I remembered that my motorcycle could fly. That would have been helpful to know earlier. I flew to the top of the pillar just north of the canyon. During the flight, I shared a tender moment with the grateful young night elf. Sorry about the Horde doing the whole burning of Teldrassil thing. It's okay. Atop the pillar, I saw him. Deathwing. The time for the ultimate confrontation had arrived. I'm gonna punch that dragon in the face! Hey, stop it! This is my story! Cut it out, guys! Quit interrupting! Uh, fine. You don't get to hear how I defeated Deathwing in a knife fight. Your loss. Two words. Murloc, romance. Murglorgers of our Gurmurgler is a quest chain about forbidden love between two Murlocs. Our main character is Pearl Hunter Finn, a murloc we find rummaging through some debris. He's friendly and he asks us to help him find a pearl, which is what I think he's asking for, uh, I don't really speak murloc. The pearl is found, but oh no, there's a flaw on the side. So then it's off to go kill some crabs for something to help, again, I don't speak murloc. 
This is a good point to add that every single quest objective for this quest chain is just a bunch of random question marks, so you never really know what you're actually doing. So, you go off, kill some crabs, and come back with the stuff he might need? Okay, I'm back. You want this? 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 You are obsolete. Exterminate. Exterminate. Join the Borg. Okay, what about this? Pearl Hunter Finn uses the sand to polish the pearl and makes his way inside the Nightborn building. Inside, there's the beautiful murloc he's trying to woo, and his parents, including a murloc with a mustache. This mustached murloc is named Mr. Murgalurgalum, and is not impressed by Finn's gift, and knocks it out of his hand, cracking it. Finn retreats, and this is where the quest chain takes a darker turn. At least I think. Again, I don't speak Murloc. Pearl Hunter Finn talks some gibberish and then makes a stabbing motion. You then run around and dig through sand piles to gather handfuls of long fangs. Perhaps to stab and murder Mr. Murgalurgalurm. But when you return, it seems like he was kidnapped. The kidnappers? The Falderai. Elves that were twisted by wild magic and turned into horrifying, spider-like creatures. Finn must have had a change of heart in that moment, seeing how his lover, Mergalala Girl, was distraught, and he leaves to go rescue her father. After searching through webs, Mr. Mergalala is rescued and forgives Finn, and the two Murloc lovers are free to run off and enjoy their young love. Ah, how nice. And now, for something much more depressing, yet sort of romantic, I guess. It's sort of like, orcishly romantic, is what I'm trying to say. We all know about Mancric and his wife. The story goes that the two lovers were traveling across the barrens and were ambushed by Quilbor. Mancric was knocked out and was awoken by a Tarn druid tending to his wounds. He sends players to go look for his wife, but, well, you know what happens. Miss Keisha! Miss Keisha! Miss Keisha! Oh my fucking god, she fucking dead. Fun fact, Olgra, Mankirk's wife's name in the game files, is just called Beaten Corpse. Which is, uh, it's very brutal. Mankirk is devastated by the news, but during the Cataclysm, we get to see how it truly affected him. Mankirk killed a lot of Quilbor in his quest to retrieve his wife's corpse. When he was able to find her, he created a humble monument to his wife in her honor. For a moment, I thought my hatred had stilled. My wife laid to rest. A final offering of blood of her murderers to quell her tortured spirit. I thought perhaps peace would appeal to me. I was wrong. I will not rest until every single filthy squealing murderous Quillbor lays dead and broken. Mancrick's thirst for revenge could not be quenched. He killed every single squealing beast that laid before him, and it was clear that it did not bring him peace. Maka, a local shaman in the barrens, confided with Mancrick, telling him that he is destroying himself, and if he died fighting these beasts, that his people would mourn his passing, just like he mourned his wife. It's implied that Maka helped quell the rage within Mancrick, and taught him to learn to love once again. The Elemental Bonds quest is by far the most romantic quest in all of WoW, and it deals with our main man Thrall. Adventures are called the Meet with Thrall and his lady friend Agra. The ceremony taking place is the Earthen Ring and the Cenarian Circle combining forces to heal the World Tree. Also, Thrall is planning on proposing to Agra. But oh shit, 
Who's that? It's Owen Wilson and Vince Vaughn, just like in the 2005 hit film Wedding Crashers. Wow. They're a part of the Twilight Hammer cult, and they crash the party and use their magical energies to split Thrall into four different entities, representing the four different elements and he is scattered across the elemental plane. It's then revealed these Twilight Hammer cultists are in fact druids of the flame, and Malfurion Stormrage, the strongest druid in all of Azeroth, then walks up to them and stares at them, and then they disappear. Now, you and Agra need to go on a mission to recover Thrall from each elemental plane and make him whole once more. First up is Air, where we face Thrall and his spirit of doubt. He talks about how he let his people down and how he shouldn't have let Garrosh be Warchief. We save him from the air elementals and then he goes, I can't hold on! I can't! Now it's time to go under the sea and face the element of water and Thrall's deepest desires. During the quest, we see Thrall's deep desires like finding peace between the Alliance and Horde, having Agra be his mate, and having kids. One of his other desires is making Essence's account wide in patch 8.3 of Battle for Azeroth and fixing AV in Classic WoW. Jesus Christ Blizzard, what are you doing? That part of Thrall is freed now, and now we go rescue his stone form. Not much to say about this one. Uh, you just need to kill some Earth Elementals, and he's freed, and he goes, Agra! Agra, I can't hear! I can't in the Firelands, we save Thrall from the elements of fire and his own rage. We also learn about Agra's love of totems. Quickly, reactivate the totem! Quickly! Reactivate the totem! Keep the totems alive! A totem is failing! You must reactivate it! Finally, all four parts of Thrall are restored and he is whole once again. I am alive all my life. I had chosen to be a slave to fear, a thrall. Now the two can return to the world tree and thrall can finally propose to Agra, where the two live happily ever after. Hi, thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, be sure to like it and consider subscribing. Also, check out my Twitch, Twitter, and my Patreon where you can see some behind the scenes footage for only a dollar a month. Thanks again, guys, and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.